Welcome back to DAPRA's Milling Training video series, where we introduce important concepts for milling that will help you achieve the best performance from your cutting tools. Today's video will cover some of the terminology used to describe cutting tool programming and use. Understanding these terms is very important to correctly applying your milling tool to its full potential. These are the basic terms needed to end up with good results when programming your milling application. They are SFM, or surface feet per minute, RPM, revolutions per minute, FPT, feed per tooth, IPM, inches per minute, WOC, width of cut, DOC, depth of cut. Let's break these down into three related groups to provide clearer definitions of what they really mean. Our first two terms are both related to cutting tool speed or how fast the tool is rotating. SFM, referred to as VC in the formulas, stands for surface feet per minute and is very simply the number of linear feet that the cutting edge travels in one minute. Now this number is dependent primarily on the material being machined and the number that you'll be given in the catalog's speed and feed chart. No matter what diameter tool is being used, the SFM remains the same. The number that changes is the RPM, or revolutions per minute. This number is variable depending on the diameter of the cutting tool. A larger tool will spin slower to move the cutting edge a given SFM. A smaller tool needs to spin faster to move the cutting edge that same distance in the same amount of time. The calculations for arriving at the correct RPM based on the recommended SFM will be covered in another training video, so stay tuned for that. The next two terms are related to feed, or how quickly the cutting tool is moving through the material being machined. FPT, referred to as FZ in the formulas, stands for feed per tooth and represents the distance through the material that your cutting tool moves or feeds in the time it takes for the next cutting edge to rotate into cutting position. Sometimes this value is referred to as chip load. Whatever term you use, it's the amount of material you're asking each cutting edge or flute to remove from the material being machined. However, a typical CNC program doesn't use feed per tooth, it uses inches per minute, referred to as VF in the formulas. Inches per minute is the number of inches your cutting tool will travel in one minute. Now this value is calculated based on the RPM, feed per tooth, and the number of teeth your cutting tool has. Again, we'll cover the calculations in a separate video. Our last two terms that relate specifically to our operating parameters are WOC and DOC. WOC, referred to as AE in speed and feed formulas, stands for width of cut and is typically either referred to as a percentage of the cutter diameter or as a numerical value. For example, in our diagram, if we say the cutter diameter is two inches, and we see that the material is about 50% of the tool diameter in width, then our width of cut is 50% or one inch. The ideal amount for this is dependent on the application and the material being machined, which we'll cover later. DOC, also referred to as AP, means depth of cut and refers to the Z-axis engagement of the tool. Here's a different diagram that does a better job of showing this variable. This shows us both width of cut and depth of cut in relation to a typical end mill. We see the width of cut shown at the bottom, indicating what percentage of the tool diameter is engaged with the material. Now the depth of cut, or DOC, is shown as the amount of flute length engaged at one time in the cut. The heavier the depth of cut, the more stress on the tool, but the greater the material removal rate will be. It's important to recognize the maximum depth of cut for any cutting tool to prevent breakage during machining. That's it. Those are the most common and important terms to understand for applying your milling tools successfully. Now in our next video, we'll look at the most common types of milling tools, comparing solid and indexable cutting tools, so stay tuned for that.